Gauteng commuters have been left stranded after taxi associations decided to go ahead with a strike today, effectively grounding all minibus taxis. But late yesterday afternoon, there was an indication that some taxi associations would continue to operate while Santaco embarked on the strike. The taxi associations are unhappy with government's uh, offer of over a billion rand in relief funding, saying it's simply not enough to cover their losses caused by the coronavirus pandemic. They are hoping to put pressure on government to review the financial relief for the industry. How things MEC for Transport, Jacob Mamabolo, joins me via Zoom this morning. A very good morning to you, Mr. Mamabolo. Thank you for your time. Um, you've set aside 1.1 1, 1 .1 billion rand uh, to cover t the taxi industry, e-hailing services, as well as metered taxis. But uh, Santaco is not too happy with your uh, rollout of that relief. Where to from here? Well, firstly, good morning to you, and uh, thanks for the opportunity. Let me just um, uh, inform viewers that uh, yesterday uh, we had a meeting, all MECs in the country, with the Minister of uh, Transport, Honorable Fikile Mbaluda, and in those discussions, it became very clear that um, the engagements and the interactions between the minister and the leaders at national level with respect to the um, relief uh, that has been put on the table that those discussions are continuing tomorrow so we as all MECs, we said that um, we have got confidence that those discussions will be able to uh, resolve uh, the matter. As you'll surely understand, um, and I hope everybody do, that uh, these matters are matters that um, affect the taxi industry nationally and have been dealt with at that level. And uh, we are hopeful that there should be a better way forward on the matter. You say you're hopeful that there should be a better way forward, but we know that Transport Minister Figi Lambalula has already said this is not a time to fight, and he's made it clear that increasing the taxi relief fund is not an option at this point in time. How are you so confident that you will yield uh, some sort of positive outcome? Well, uh, the, the fact of the matter is that the door for negotiations is not closed. And um, what, what is important is that um, the leadership of the taxi industry would, would have announced that the negotiations have collapsed. So it means the negotiations and the discussions are still ongoing. And um, clearly, uh, I think it's, uh, we should leave the matter to those that uh, are representing the taxi industry and the minister mm -hmm. to see how do they persuade each other. Obviously, in every discussion of this nature, um, there, there are discussions that look at, uh, at the matter, even if, um, uh, as Minister has indicated, matters are difficult, but uh, that did not collapse the negotiations. And from where we're standing, the meeting tomorrow is yet another opportunity, and I don't think we should uh, start to collapse it even before mm -hmm. uh, it can sit. Let's give it a chance. Let's wait for it. And uh, after when all is said and done, uh, matters can only be resolved through negotiations. Even if there, there, there's to be a shutdown in the province, national, whatever. But negotiations remain the best platform to resolve and engage on matters. And that's why we remain confident that uh, there should be a, an engagement that will find a way. Maybe uh, the tax industry will understand the complexities and the difficulties about the issue, maybe they can be able to put a much more uh, convincing argument. So that's in the nature of engagements and discussions. And I think we should leave it to that process. We will get a feedback, there will be an update, mm -hmm. and uh, we will all get to know what has been the outcome of those discussions. But I think let's not preempt, and we wouldn't want to do that. We want to leave it to those discussions and see what will come out tomorrow. And exactly how severe is the impact of this uh, service shutdown, looking at the industry and, of course, the state of the economy? Well, every one commuter 
inconvenienced without transport, arriving late at work, uh, with a high rate of unemployment we have. Uh, definitely, this can put jobs of um, uh, commuters as workers at risk. And, um, um, and, and there could be those cases where commuters, as, uh, when, when they present reasons why they came late or couldn't come to work, uh, it's, it is, there is a great chance that some of the employers may not understand that. So the severity of the, of, of the impact on, on commuters and, of course, it, as work on workers is going to be definitely, definitely big. Secondly, is that um, the people are going to arrive home late because you might have a transport in the morning. Uh, there might be difficulties in the afternoon. Given the rate of crime, that is also going to put particularly the most vulnerable people at risk. Thirdly, um, we are under conditions of COVID-19, uh, so it will mean in whatever movement that is happening, uh, alternative modes of transport could be um, overcrowded, uh, uh, undercapacitated, with uh, minimum loading capacities. So that's going to compromise social distancing. It will mean commuters, wherever they are moving, the programs we have put in place to uh, prevent the spread of COVID-19, basic health and hygiene, things that we do daily across public modes of transport have been put at risk, which means we could also today just have uh, uh, COVID-19 uh, uh, infection rates growing. So the, the, the negative impact of this is quite clear, it's quite serious. Uh, we're also likely to see uh, potential violence because there are those, uh, the, for example, National Taxi Alliance uh, in our province, because it's GNTA, uh, is not on strike. So we also wonder when members of the same industry are possibly like to come into confrontation, others uh, enforcing their right to operate, others enforcing their right to a strike. You could have members of the taxi industry set against each other. Yeah. That will be a setback for good work we have done in the province to enhance and build unity. After the strike, there's still work to be done, and you wonder if there were to be tensions on the ground, how will, we, how will the taxi industry still enhance and optimize its unity? Mm -hmm. So in, all in all, it means, and again, there's a meeting tomorrow. Did we have to come to this point? Definitely, absolutely no. So this is going to be a lose-lose outcome for everybody. Absolutely. I don't see how anyone will win out of this because the tech industry should have given the national leadership, like all of us are doing, an opportunity to talk tomorrow. Once those discussions are done tomorrow, we will hear, have they collapsed? Um, is there a way forward? What are the options? But mm -hmm. at this point, I think it's premature. Unfortunately, but, uh, this is definitely run out of to time. Be, uh, I hate uh, to cut loose, you off there, and it's gonna Mr. Have a uh, Of course, uh, thank you for your time. Thank you for joining us. So we, unfortunately, have run out of time. Gauteng MEC for Transport, Jacob Mamabolo, just uh, speaking to us about the taxi uh, strike situation, saying that a meeting will take place tomorrow to determine the outcome.